Good morning, students. I welcome you all to K Tech High School. Students, we have finished with our first unit. From today onwards, we are going to start with our second unit. So, before we start with our topic, answer some of my questions. As students, you all can see two pictures on your screen. By looking at them, what comes in your mind? Yes? Yes, students, there is a rope or a string on which the clothes are hanged or they are attached to dry up. Why? We all have seen this, right? At our house also, at our homes, our mothers, what they do when they wash clothes? So they dry the clothes this way, right? They just hang or attach the clothes on a string or rope. And this is called as the clothes line. So, the topic of our today's poem is the clothes line. Students, everybody open your textbook to page number 23. We will start with the first poem of our unit 2, that is the clothes line. Okay, so students, we will start with our poem. Everybody also take a pencil in your hand and mark the words as I say. So first I will recite the poem, then I will start with the explanation of the poem. Okay, let's start. The Clothes Line by Charlotte Drood Cole Hand in hand they dance in a row, hither and thither and to and fro. Flip, flap, flop and away they go, fluttering creatures as white as snow. Like restive horses they caper and prance, like fairy tale witches they wildly dance, rounded in front but hollow behind, they shiver and skip in the merry march wind. One I saw dancing excitedly, struggling so wildly till she was free, then leaving pegs and clothesline behind her, she flew like a bird and no one can find her. I saw her gleam like a sail in the sun, flipping and flapping and flopping for fun. Nobody knows where she now can be, hid in a ditch or drowned in the sea. She was my handkerchief not long ago, but she'll never come back to my pocket, I know. So students, this was the poem the clothes line by Charlotte Drood Cole. So now let us see what the poetess wants to tell us in the first stanza. Hand in hand they dance in a row, hither and thither and to and fro. Flip, flap, flop and away they go, fluttering creatures as white as snow. So, students, over here, the poetess is trying to tell us that when the wind blows, all the clothes that are there on the string, on the clothesline, what happens? There is a movement on them, right? And that happens because of the wind blowing, blowing of the wind, right? So, when the wind blows, all the clothes that are there, they start moving and they seem as if they are dancing in a row. So as you all can see in the picture, all the clothes, there are, they are moving because of the wind and they seem like they are dancing. Hither and thither, students, kindly underline the word hither and thither. The meaning of this word is here and there and to and fro which means up and down so they move here and there they move up and down because of the wind flip flap flop and away they go 
which means that the poet is telling that they also make a sound because they are moving there is a sound like flip flap flop and away they go which means they are moving continuously fluttering creatures as white as snow so now here the poet is comparing the clothes with all the fluttering features yes they are fluttering creatures as white as snow so the poet is comparing the clothes with the features that flutter right and they are birds they move their wings and they fly so the poet is, is comparing the clothes with the birds which are white in color so the clothes seem like the birds as you all can see in the picture about there are birds and the cloth that is flying away is just looking like a bird so that is what the poet is, is explaining us in the first stanza like restive horses they caper and prance like fairy tale which is they wildly dance rounded in front but hollow behind they shiver and skip in the merry march wind so now students in the second stanza the poet is comparing the clothes with the horses restive students kindly underline the word restive the meaning of the word restive is restless as we all know that horse they are never you know stand still they never remain still they are always moving and doing something so they are restive so just like horses the clothes are also restive they are moving to and fro and further the poet is, is comparing the clothes with the witches of the fairy tale. Now, which is what they do? They do a wildly dance. Now, what is the meaning of wildly, students? Which means very hard or violently. So, the poet is telling us over here that the clothes on the string, they are moving so hard they are trying struggling so hard and they are moving so violently in order to free themselves from the peg what is peg peg are the clips that we use or pins that we use to attach the clothes on the string so the poet is telling that they move so hard so violently that they seem like witches to the poetess one i saw dancing excitedly struggling so wildly till she was free then leaving pegs and clothes lying behind her she flew like a bird and no one can find her so students now what the poet is telling us that the clothes are they are moving and they are struggling quite hard to free themselves from the string now because of the wind the clothes are moving to and fro and now the poet is telling that the clothes are moving in a very wild way which means they are moving in a very very hard or a violent way and they are trying themselves to free from the string suddenly the poet saw one of the cloth that was trying and struggling very hard to free herself from the string and finally the cloth the piece of the cloth was free from the clothesline and the cloth flew with the wind and the poet is, is telling us that it flew like a bird and now no one can find her i saw her gleam like a sail in the sun flipping and flapping and flopping for fun nobody knows where she now can be hid in a ditch or drowned in the sea so now students the poet is over here is telling that i saw her gleam students kindly underline the word gleam the word gleam means shining brightly so the poetess is telling us that 
she saw that piece of cloth shining brightly in the sun flipping flapping and flopping for fun which means that the cloth is moving with the wind and it is flipping flapping and flopping the movement of the cloth nobody knows where she now can be as we all know that the piece of cloth it blew with the wind so now we don't know the poet is telling that i don't know now where the cloth is hid in a ditch now what is a ditch students ditches are this type of passage near a road or in the farm that are created for the water to water to pass through so the poet is telling us that now she don't know where that piece of cloth is whether it is hid in a ditch or drowned in the sea so the cloth flew away with the wind and now the poet is telling us that i don't know where to find that cloth or where the cloth is whether it is hid in a ditch or drowned in the sea she was my handkerchief not long ago but she'll never come back to my pocket i know so now the poet is telling us that the cloth that flew with the wind was my handkerchief so that piece of cloth was my handkerchief but i know that now that handkerchief will not come back to me and will not come back to my pocket why because the handkerchief blew with the wind and now the poet poetess cannot find that handkerchief and she don't know where that handkerchief is so she knows that she won't be able to get it back so that is what she is ending the poem with so students this was a beautiful poem the clothes line by charlotte trout cole in which the poetess has explained us and has shared her view how she looks towards the clothes that are moving on the string and how she have lost her handkerchief so students everybody note down this poem in your no english class workbook and also learn it and now i take a leave from you all thank you